but occasionally you cannot reduce noise at source nor can you block transmission with close shielding. In these cases, and only in these cases, you should consider building an enclosure. That's because making an enclosure work effectively is more difficult than at first it might appear to be. In theory, blocking the transmission of sound by air should reduce the noise level of this motor by as much as 30 dBA. What you're actually getting is a reduction of only about 10 dBA. The reason? The motor is bolted to the base, the majority of which is outside the enclosure. To block the sound effectively, you've got to isolate the sound source. But the reading is still 85 dBA. We're still not getting maximum performance from our enclosure. That's because the sound is bouncing around inside the enclosure, which amplifies it. We are, in effect, getting 30 dBA off a higher level. To improve the enclosure's performance, we must line it with absorbent material. And at last, we've reached the level of reduction we expected. But no real-life enclosure could be like that. We need ventilation, access for raw materials, and somewhere for products to emerge. 105 dBA. No reduction. So all that expense and trouble has been for nothing unless we line the duct. 90 dBA is good. As a final improvement, put a corner in the duct. 72 dBA. At last, we've got the theoretical level we've been looking for.